Alright, uh, I'm going to send you nine images of stuff from Foxhole. That I, that I think if, you know, if you, if you know nothing about the game at all, you probably don't know and can't deduce what it is. So, sure. I'm going to send you the first one. And you're going to tell me what you think this is. Alright. So the first thing that comes to my mind? Yeah. Uh, one of those things that doctors put in your back when they're trying to, like, detect if you're allergic to something. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, huh? this, the, the, the first thing that came to my mind is like, it's like this big ass fucking block of needles that they put in your back with like Ow. different things that you're allergic to. What and the then <laughs> the spots that uh, I'm gonna show you because I wanna. Uh, block of those allergy. Uh, I'm actually really interested in now. This is like a small version. Alright. It's like, but usually it's in your back and it's like a giant, like, it looks like that thing oh. that you sent me. Oh my god, I've been, I've been, uh, I've been, I've, I've been in this before. This used to test yeah. what, what allergies, you know, yeah. they, they, they prick a bunch of like open wounds and then they put like yeah, and, and a bunch of things. Like, and then like, it, it like tells you what you're allergic to. Uh, play some thought into it. What do you think is, this is a weapon, obviously. All of them are weapons, uh, but... What, it what? looks like what do you think this does? a fucking it's like World War II S kind of weapon. So I assume it's like a like a, a fucking artillery cannon with like multiple shots that you can shoot at the same time or like in quick succession. All right, uh, you're pretty much correct. This thing is a field artillery gun, and right. it's 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 like a burst firing artillery gun. So you load rockets into it, and it fires a volley of them. All right. Nice. And, uh, now for the second one. Alright, hit me. Yeah, you go. Looks like a fucking... I mean, it's a tank, obviously. Yeah, it's a tank. But, uh... It's like fucking smooth. Dude, it, it, the, the fucking wheels make me think of, like, escalator uh, bars. <laughs> like, the things that are on escalators that help you, like, they, like, move with the escalator so you can hold on to it and not, like, fall. Like, this is what I'm talking about. Alright, so in, in Foxhole, this is a super heavy tank. It's uh, basically the biggest, baddest Minas. Also the slowest. The fuck? And uh, this one is completely dog shit. And uh, it sh it's got double barrels, but it doesn't really mean double the fire rate. And it shoots um, 75mm. <laughs> ah, I see. <laughs> send, yes. send me actual image of an escalator. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it did. Yep, fair enough. So now for like the, the third one. Alright. Oh, another escalator. <laughs> uh fucking Oh, I don't know. This looks like a it looks like a fucking a tank that wants to be a submarine. This is <laughs> I don't know why. It's like the head on it seems a bit all it's like so tall. Okay, that actually uh fun fact that actually happened in Foxo once. Uh there's a clip yeah, out there it. where um, a player ran up towards a enemy super heavy tank, and uh, in in Foxhole you have to lock a vehicle. If you don't lock a vehicle, enemies can enter it. And he found out the driver left it unlocked, so he hopped in it and just drove it into the ocean. <laughs> nice. Actual thing that happened. Uh, I'll see if I can try and find the the clip in the future. But um, yeah. this is the blue teams version of a super heavy tank. The it's considered far better because it shoots 94.5 millimeter. 94.5 millimeter is enough to one shot most tanks and yeah, it's pretty big. not one uh, it'll either one shot destroy or one shot disable. It, like bigger. Yeah. Bigger than my PP? Yeah yeah bigger than your PP. Definitely bigger. <laughs> the some um, uh, all vehicles have different levels of damage that would disable the vehicle. That means the engine stops working, but the vehicle is still alive. For tanks, if I'm not wrong, it's if their health goes below 30%, uh, their engine stops working and they can't move. Right, see. Now for the next one, will be the fourth. Oh, what the hell? <sighs> Fuck, I don't even know. Yeah, this is bigger than your PP. Yeah, it's a lot bigger than my PP, for sure. Uh, ah, uh, looks like a fucking 
like one of those fucking GTA San Andreas fucking oil oil machines that like put <laughs> oil from the fucking it looks bottom like, of the ground. It looks like an oil rig. Yeah, it was like a, but like realistically, it's a fucking cannon, of course. But uh, you know, I I don't blame you. I can see how this looks like an oil rig. Yeah, but it's like pumping shit from like under underground or something. But uh, it's definitely a cannon. But yeah, this this is basically uh, this is a Schwer Gustav, basically. Okay. Very expensive to make, very hard to transport, very, very big fat target if people see it. And uh, it's been used and deployed with like multiple of these things. These things are called Tempest Cannon. It shoots uh, no. 300 millimeter shells. And if I'm not wrong, um, in the update war where this was released, Colonials used this, this weapon, this Tempest Cannon. They would, you know how I told you earlier that the hexagons mapped in Foxo are instances you have to load into, right? Yeah. They would load into an instance, and like at the exact border, you know, like the closest to the border of the instance, they would just load the gun in, like unload a volley of shells from the cannon, and then drive it away. It's a, it was a hit and run that pretty sure it was not intended, because later on this was patched. So you can't fire the Tempest cannon anymore from uh, the border. The, oh, the, the areas closest to the border is actually called rapid decay zone next uh no longer vehicles so this should be far simpler all right my style Ooh, that looks like a what kind of rifle do you think like a re fucking revolver shotgun yes it's a revolver but it's not a shotgun oh. Damn, okay. so this is close. this is called the hangman 757 it's a revolving heavy rifle on the blue team it uses uh, 44 magnum as its ammo i I think it is the heaviest hitting gun in the game because it is a revolver. It's, it's, I'm pretty sure that's how it works because it's a revolver and it's, yeah. its damage range is very big. It deals 78 to 117 damage. So this has a one shot kill capability. Interesting. I like that. And uh, it's also a very heavy gun in the game. It's, uh, if you're doing bayonet rushes, it's not the best thing. It made me think of the Tarkov fucking revolver shotgun. Alright, what do you think this is? That looks like a fucking microscope. It looks like a telescope. Couldn't think of it. Yeah, or a telescope, yeah. Maybe a telescope that works too. Doesn't look like a gun, but maybe I'm wrong. It looks like a... It looks like one of those fucking caulk guns that you use to caulk up like your bathroom, you know? Huh? Hold on, I need, a, you know, I need an explanation. You know what the caulk gun is? Wait. What's a caulk gun? There, I found it. Not a cock gun, but a <laughs> caulk. Like one of these things. Oh, wait, what's this for? <laughs> uh, wait, I can show you with, like, a thing in it. Hold on. What is it? Oh, cork. Like, C-O-R-K. Cork. Yeah. C-A-U-R-K or something. Wait, what's, yeah, the, what's, to, like... what's the purpose of this? <laughs> I mean, you, you, like, if you see the guys, like, caulking the side of the bathroom or the side of the bathtub, it, it's basically just sealing things. Oh. You can caulk things. Like, if you, look, if you look at, like, the bottom of your, uh, your uh, like, your shitter, the fucking the thing you shit in. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> You'll see like a little line of caulk, which is like a white stuff, and usually it's oh, the same color oh, as the bottom. Okay, I get it. Uh, and I'll come to think of it, I, yeah. get it. I can see how visually this looks similar to that. Yeah, it looks like a cock gun. Um, okay. I'm confused <laughs> with the cock gun. <laughs> right. I'm very immature. Yes. Alright, in, in reality, this is called the Dockers ISG tree. And the Dockers is a colonial green team. Mounted infantry support gun. This thing you put it on a tripod so it becomes stationary and it shoots 30 millimeter shell. Oh damn, that's a lot. Yes. That's big. You can put this on a tripod and you can put it on a half track or you can put it on train cars. So it's Me. like a it's, it's like a early game like explosive that a green team unlock. I'm going to send you the next thing. This is technically a weapon. It sh shoots something technically. Bro, what the fuck is that? <laughs> What am I even looking at? That looks like the thing that's inside of the cock gun, to be honest. <laughs> what the hell is this? It looks like a... Okay, uh... What? Just Hit me. Put, put your thoughts as high as you can into it. What do you think it's useful? Uh, like a mine or something? Something you put in the ground? Okay, um... Actually, this is a weapon attachment for rifles. So in the in the same way you slot a bayonet onto a rifle in Foxhole, you can put yeah. this on and this thing is a rifle grenade launcher that is specifically only made by the blue team. 
What the hell? A rifle grenade? It doesn't look like a grenade launcher at all. I but... know, and apparently, uh, the wiki says that this is almost identical in design and function to the American M1 grenade adapter. So this is based on a real thing. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. And uh, in-game, this is called the Osprey. Osprey. Alright, so here is the second last one. <sighs> Bro, what the hell? It's okay, it's, ano bike. it's another <laughs> caught gun. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> This one looks like a bicycle pump or something. I don't know. Holy shit, I've never... Okay, now that you've said that, I can't see it. <laughs> yeah, like, like one of those, like, bicycle pump, like, handheld. My god. Yeah, it looks like one of these fuckers, like, in... Where... Yeah, I can't see it now, what have you done? Here, like, oh, yeah, I found one. This is, this is, like, a big one, though, but it's, like... What it the... Look... That's yeah, not far off, this. actually, if, you, if I angle the image down. Not far yeah. off, honestly. This is, like... This one's also kind of, this one's like smaller, this is more of what, what I meant. Uh, if you had like a little gauge on top. Okay, well what I actually think, uh, from the image alone, I would assume it's like some RPG. Okay, not not far. It, it definitely fires the explosive. Okay. So it's like a, like a, like a fucking hand, it was like a, like a handmade fucking RPG. Like you put, put a big ass fucking cannonball in there, like it's the fucking 800s, like you're a pirate. Okay, um. This is in game, this is called a Cremari Mortar. And the, fuck? the wiki says this is based on the Japanese Type 89 Mortar. So, once again, very weirdly, based on a real thing. Interesting. Lastly, I am sure you're yeah, not gonna get this right at all. But, uh, what do you think this is? It's a weapon. As much as it doesn't look like a weapon, it is a weapon, I promise you. Looks like something a, like an uh, alcoholic dad would bring to like a barbecue or something. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Dude, I'm going to send you. The... It looks like a canteen. Yeah, I, I don't blame you. I'm going to send you an image of how it looks like in game, and I don't blame you. It it looks like a canteen. <laughs> I can't find one. Well, I can't find the funny image for it this time. Yeah, the, like literally, it just looks like a canteen. It looks, like, yeah, it's just it, like it, an explosive. It looks, yeah, it 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 is. Yeah, it is in the explosive category technically. It's like a fucking Molotov or something, but like metal. You shoot at the set something up. Okay, it's its full name is the BF5 White Ash Blast Grenade. And it's on the blue team. And this is an anti-tank grenade. <laughs> the hell? I, I know, absolutely does not look like it. I just, the wiki is telling me this is also based on a real thing called the Hawkins grenade. And uh, it's been developed by the British? Yeah, developed by the British, I think. First, uh, first appeared in 1942, they but yeah, this this is a anti-tank grenade in game. This is compared to other anti-tank grenades. This does like uh, compared to your anti-tank sticky grenade. This thing does less damage to my memory. It does less damage, but it has longer range and a way way higher chance to track the tank. So it disables its track, so it cannot move. The thing is more of a disabler than a damager. Yeah, yeah. I mean. It looks neat. Yeah. It looks exactly like a fucking like flash though, but yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, look at it this way. Honestly, dude, that's a that's a fucking business opportunity. They they fucking the people that the, the trebuchet guys that, that made this game. Teach camp. They should sell. They should sell fucking merch. Just like alcohol merch. canteens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, the... Just make it look like that, and then like people will buy that shit for sure. This would make great merch, siege camp. <laughs> yeah, that is. It looks exactly like one, so I might as well sell it. It would sell like crazy. I mean, if it's if it's something like popular and like a lot used a lot, yeah, I think it would be nice. You should also sell a bicycle pump that looks like the fucking the mortar. <laughs> you know, I don't I don't think Siege Cam has any official merchandise. I'm not sure if the one I'm looking at right now is actually from Siege Cam. Oh, they do. They they're selling a singular T-shirt with just Foxhole on it. <laughs> oh yeah, they 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 have one singular merch. And it is a t-shirt.